Microchips. The bond between humans and computers is becoming more intimate than ever before. Scientists are now putting microchips inside people's bodies. They are made up of compressed electrical circuits that can detect and record data about the body. They are tiny, but they hold the equivalent amount of data as most computers. A microchip is put to use inside a person with a simple procedure. First, a doctor must put data about the patient onto a chip. Input about the person's age, race, gender, and medical history is stored on the chip. The second phase of the process involves putting it in the person's skin. The doctor pinches a piece of skin and cuts a tiny hole with a tool shaped like a spiral. The chip is inserted, and the skin is allowed to heal. At last. It begins the task of putting data into its database. Microchips scan the patient's body to record what is happening on the quantum level. They can find problems with the person's metabolism and organs. They can also detect viral infections. They can find the aggregate number of immune and infected cells and present the results in a ratio. They can even tell doctors what type of antibiotic to give to the patient. To recover the chip's data, the doctor uses a special magnet that copies it. This way, the doctor can put the information from the chip onto a computer. Then they can find out exactly what is wrong with the person. The idea of putting chips in humans is still very new. However, it is now becoming more prevalent. Scientists and doctors are hopeful about the future uses of microchips. Someday. All new babies might get a microchip soon after they are born. Doctors will be able to know about any problems from the very beginning. It is obvious that medicine and computers complement each other well.